hi guys I wanted to come on here and give you an idea uh, if you would if you had watched one of my other videos about where we did um, the crochet club we decided to make granny squares we had eight ladies make two granny squares and um, one of the other ladies put the squares together she bordered them and then put the squares together that video kind of cut out so we had a lady border them and sew them together and it made a beautiful blanket and you know what that was the most fun part of the whole thing was laying it out and everybody saying I made that square I made that square and they saw their squares and it's almost it was like a scrap bl blanket because we kind of used our own scraps we didn't really have a theme or a color uh, palette picked out and they all went together you know you just reach in and you grab a a scrap ball and somehow or another it just comes together and it looks beautiful and we made two we made a baby size and we made an adult size that they, we donated can be used for you know chemo or dialysis or something like that but I wanted to put the idea out there for you real quick about maybe you might want to make a family or a friend granny square blanket maybe you could if your friends don't crochet ask them their favorite colors have them if you depends what we did with the squares is we made them uh, we used an H hook we used number four yarn and we did them six rows the squares all came out seven inches by seven inches okay so you could ask one of your friends or your friends if they don't crochet what their three favorite colors are and you can make a friendship blanket uh, family members if you have family members that know how to crochet ask them to make two granny squares have them come to your house make granny squares together and put them all together and make a front family or friend granny square blanket if it's a family one, you could maybe give it to your mom, your elderly mom, or you could give it as a Mother's Day gift. Oh my goodness, Mother's Day's around the corner. You could give it to an aunt. All the nieces could make a granny square, or if they don't crochet, ask them their three favorite colors, and you make it and give it to your aunt for Mother's Day or any day just to make them feel loved and you could tell them a story about the blanket you could tell your friends hey this was Sally's favorite three favorite colors and you could tell your aunt or your mom or your grandma that this is you made it but these are Sally's favorite colors and Janet's favorite colors and John's favorite colors and David's favorite colors and make a granny square blanket for your mom, your grandma, your father, your grandfather. Everyone loves getting a nice little cozy blanket. Even if they live in Florida, I made a blanket and it's stashed right now, but we have chilly days and I'm gonna be pulling that blanket out. It's not real big. It just covers me while I'm sitting in my chair so you can make it four granny squares wide by five granny squares long so that would be 20 squares um you could do three squares of each person's or four you know depending on how many family members you have i just have a brother so i don't have all these you know cousins and and all that stuff uh that i'm in contact with but I'm throwing that out idea out there. Maybe it was something you never thought about, but I just thought that it was just really, really a good idea. Once I saw it all together, and I saw Sue's colors, and Suzanne did the joining, and Leanne's colors, and Barb's colors, and Gail's colors, and Marie's colors, and Sue, and Fran, and Edna, they all made colors and Sonia 
and we put them in the blanket. And it was just so fun to have us all together looking at that blanket saying, wow, it came out beautiful. There's my square. I'm so happy. So it's just an idea, throwing it out there. Like I always say, throw it out there. If it sticks on the wall, great. If it slides down, that's okay too. Like the video, you guys. Tell your friends to subscribe. Thank you so much.